So just as reading itself is a faster than conscious process, so is the emotional circuitry that's running this, this, this process. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And children are developing a pre-conscious aversion to the feel of confusion. Mm -hmm. And a pre-conscious aversion to the feel of confusion decapitates learning. Well said. So the learning to read process, in, in my view, is the, is, the, is, is the national learning disability. Yes. Right. It is the national learning disability. And it doesn't take very long for kids to experience that kind of decapitation resulting from the anticipation of confusion. They experience it in kindergarten. They experience it after a few episodes in which they're confused and their confusion was not helped by the feedback they got. Yeah, the feedback's incoherent. The feedback is incoherent or unhelpful, they are left with their confusion, they are left with their intuitive sense that something is not adding up, that what they're being told is not right, it hasn't helped. They are living with conceptual fuzz, they are living internally with lack of clarity about the speech to print relationship and about words and meaning, and it is not satisfying and they then have no reason to independently pursue this activity. And they, have, they actually have, mm -hmm. apart from any reasoning at all, they have a feeling aversion, like they have a feeling aversion to doing anything else that shames them. Yes. Right? They, yes. They don't want to go do other things that, that makes them feel bad or that they feel bad when they do. And that's a powerful force. Yes. Well, none of us gravitate toward activities that leave us with a sense of inadequacy or frustration and especially if we see no resolution to that feeling. I mean I'm not any good at golf but I know that I can employ the pro to help me with my swing and every time I have a lesson it's satisfying. Kids cannot count on their teachers for that same uh, relief.